coming to this day. Washington, D.C., Chocolate City. Man, oh, man, Chocolate City. You want to know what's funny about the Chocolate City? You ain't going to find not near one chocolate factory in the Chocolate City. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. What you will find in the Chocolate City is a lot of white people. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going on. Gentrification, man, it's crazy. Yeah, they taking over. It's just, just everywhere, like every... Like, even at night, I be seeing white people, especially down in the Southeast, which is crazy to me because that's the place where you're supposed to hold your pockets. And now they're out there talking about something. Nah, they over there hitting the baseball and they're popping it. So, you know, um, Washington, C.C. So I renamed it. That's right. I called it Washington, C.C. You want to know what that means? It's called Washington Cookies and Cream. Yeah, Washington cookies and cream, because all these white people and a couple of sprinkles of blacks. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, that's what it is now. So now when you come to the city, you can't call it chocolate city no more. It's Washington cookies and cream. Just understand that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's times are crazy. Times are crazy, man. People out here scared about this COVID-19. They talking about some conspiracy. And he was like, you know, yeah, the government created COVID-19. So niggas wouldn't vote. And, you know, it, it actually sounds like a plausible theory. Because <laughs> I'm like, uh, nigga coughing. Oh, uh, no. Uh-uh. Yeah, he might, he might kill you. And then, uh, then they had this theory that uh, COVID-19 couldn't kill black people. Then black people started dying. So <laughs> they had to give that. And, like, um, then they switched it up and said something about that uh, it's the 5G towers. It's like, it's 5G out here killing people. Like, technology. No, no. These are the same people that believe in the first David Copperfield. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the nigga um, BC, uh, before Copperfield. Niggas walk, hey, walking on water. <laughs> like, I'm for real. They got a book about it. <laughs> like, he was out here walking on water. And what's really unbelievable, this nigga know how to raise the dead. Like, he can, like, literally lift a nigga up from the dead. And I was like, yo, this is a great book. So then I found out he could turn water out to wine. I was like, man, I want to learn magic. <laughs> like, I tried to do this, man, but, you know, hey, that's just a joke, folks. Like, understand this. This life is crazy. And I met some crazy people, and I understand crazy talk. I've heard crazy talk recently. I was talking to my ex, and um, she was uh, scolding the kids because they were making fun of my son Joseph, which we quite frequently do, because there is no bullying rules in my house. <laughs> like, nigga, you get roasted, you do something to him. <laughs> like, I'm not playing with you. He was like, oh, I, I love you, you. You what? You want me? I'm like, nah, man. Play what? We don't play that in this house. Uh, oh, oh, you mean you love me? Oh, okay, see? See what I'm saying? We roast. We roast. Anyway, um, my daughter was like, ah, uh, Joe talks like that because he's Japanese. And uh, my ex was like, <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Just because you're born somewhere doesn't mean you're from there. And I was like, well, damn. I guess I'm not from my mom's pussy. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> For real. Like, where else is he from? That's where he was born. You know, um, if that's the truth, like I said, I'm not from that lady. I could pick anybody on from. Shout out to adoptions. You know what I'm saying? Ah! You can pick whoever mom depicts you. Uh, that's fucked up. But anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Um, yeah, it's good to have kids. Kids are crazy. They do they do crazy things. Since it's COVID nineteen, man, they uh, they they just run around and 
They driving me crazy, folks. Like, I need to get them out the house. Somebody somebody tried to tell me, and like, oh, you should take Mose And I'm like, you should shut the fuck up, you know? I don't, I don't know what I should do with them. But I know what, one thing that I, I hate right now, I was like, every day I hear somebody ask me the same dumbass question. What we eat for dinner? Air. That's what the hell you're going to eat for dinner. I don't give a damn. I, the days are running together. I'm sick of cooking. I'm sick of being a maid. I don't want to be around here. I don't turn to a personal chef. I still got to go to work. With the motherfucker can't even hear me when I'm talking to him anyway. Nah, man, he falling on deaf ears for real. Something wrong with him. Like, he got these two things in his ears and, like, nope, they're hearing aids. Yeah, yeah, those things right there. They're supposed to help you, but it seems like to hurt him because every time when I say something, he like, what is that? Huh? What is that? So I don't want to hear the shit when I'm at the house, and I don't want to hear the shit at the job. So understand this. If you ask me, What's to eat? You're going to get this version of me. Yeah, and folks, that's how people are acting after COVID-19. They just sick. They up to their ears and bullshit. They just tired. Man, people tired of laying in the bed. I know it right now. I can tell you tired, and you tired. <laughs> you ain't tired. I go, all right, <laughs> get it. Yeah, anyway. Hey, that's my time, y'all. My name is Selma Fisher.